In this section of the lab, the grading of an aggregate sample is determined by performing a sieve analysis test. Weigh the empty sieves and record their mass. Make sure the sieves are nested properly in order of decreasing size of opening, with the pan on the bottom. Tear the measure, then weigh the sample and record its mass. Empty the aggregate sample onto the top sieve, then secure the lid. Tightly secure the sieves to the mechanical shaker, then agitate the sieves for 10 minutes. Weigh each sieve with the retained aggregate. This section of the lab deals with determining the bulk density of the aggregates. First, weigh the cylindrical measure to determine the dry weight of the measure. Also be sure to record the temperature of the water. Next. Fill the measure completely full with water and determine the weight of the measure and the water. Make sure to completely fill the measure by topping it off with a squirt bottle. Carefully pour the water out of the measure and completely dry it with a towel. Place the cylindrical measure on the ground and fill it one third of the way full with the aggregate and level the surface with your fingers. Using the rod, Tamp the first layer of the aggregate 25 times evenly over the surface. Add another layer of aggregate to bring the volume of the measure up to two-thirds full. Level with your fingers and tamp again 25 times with the rod. Add a final layer of aggregate to completely fill the cylindrical measure until it is overflowing and rod 25 times as in previous steps. Finally, weigh the measure full of aggregate. The last section of the lab involves determining the relative density, which is used for determining the volume occupied by aggregate in a mixture. Finding the absorption of the coarse aggregate will determine the change in weight of aggregate due to absorbed water compared to the dry weight of the sample. First, find the mass of the empty mesh basket by submerging it in water. Next, find the mass of the sample by placing it in the wire mesh basket and submerging it in water. The water should be at a temperature of about 23 degrees Celsius. Determine the mass of the measure to be used to weigh the saturated surface dry sample. Use a cloth to dry the sample to a saturated surface dry state until the sample does not appear visibly wet. Next, find the mass of the saturated surface dry sample. Oven dry the sample at 110 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After 24 hours, cool down the oven dried sample in air at room temperature and find the oven dried weight. 